The Indian Space Research Organization, in short, ISRO, will try to wake up Chandrayaan-3 missions Vikram Lander and Pragyan Rover, which were put into sleep mode earlier this month, so that they can continue with their scientific experiments. The space agency had stated that it would try to re-establish communication with both devices on September 22nd after more than two-week-long lunar night. Days after successfully touching down on the lunar surface, Chandrayaan 3's lander was put into sleep mode on September 4th around 8 a.m. Its playloids were deactivated. However, its receivers remained operational. In situ experiments by Chaste, Ramba LP, and ILSA, playloids are performed at the new location. The data collected is received at the Earth, ISRO said while announcing the activation of sleep mode of the lander. Before this, the agency had activated the sleep mode of Pragyan rover on September 2nd. It was stated that the battery was fully charged, the receiver was kept on, and the solar panel was oriented to receive the light at the next sunrise expected on September 22nd. Vikram will fall asleep next to Pragyan once the solar power is depleted and the battery is drained, hoping for their awakening around September 22nd. 2023, ISRO said on September 4th. The Vikram lander made a touchdown on the lunar surface for a second time on September 4th and exceeded Chandrayaan 3 mission objectives. It completed a hop experiment in which the lander fired its engines on command and elevated 40 centimeters above the ground, as the agency expected, and then landed back safely at the distance of 30 to 40 centimeters away from its position. ISRO explained in a video posted on X, formerly known as Twitter. The space agency claimed that it is crucial as it would kickstart and motivate future mission that will carry astronauts on the lunar surface. ISRO's ambitious third moon mission made India only the fourth country to accomplish the feat and the first to reach the uncharted south pole of the Earth's only natural satellite. The spot where Chandrayaan-3 Vikram lander made a spot landing was named Shiv Shakti Point and the site where the Chandrayaan-2 lander crash landed on the moon's surface in 2019 was called Tiranga Point. Due to its distinctive characteristics and possible scientific significance, the lunar south pole has become a focus of exploration. It is thought to have a vast reservoir of water ice in areas that shadow regions, which would help future space exploration as it can be used to create resources like drinking water, oxygen and hydrogen for rocket fuel. Additionally, the area that prominently receives sunlight or the moon has a temperature range of minus 50 to 10 degrees Celsius, offering better chemical conditions for the lander and rover's electronics. Well, what do you think about the news? Do let us know in the comment section below. But before that, if you like the information, then do not forget to like, share and subscribe to One India News. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.